Welcome to my third blog post in a series about building a future hybrid work model for your organization. My name is Mary Daly. I'm all about helping leaders make confident decisions about difficult and complex problems in their organizations. Welcome to video number three, where have we come from? In number one, in the introductory video, I said that the path towards building a future hybrid model starts up high at the strategic level. It's iterative and it requires that vital strategic capability for the future, building and being adaptive in order to create organizational resilience. In number two, I did a little more situating. Timing is everything. This framework is not going to create your transition plan. It's about building for the future when you have the headspace and the heart space to think up and out and ahead. Lastly, the design of your new hybrid work model, it demands an organizational lens and an organizational versus an individual focus. I'm aiming for a short and brisk here in number three, and you'll see a follow-up one with a little more detail. My objective is to be short and brisk. Here it comes, the I squared V1 version of my framework. It's just the trailer, only the most exciting bits. It's imperfect, it's incomplete. It's my first version that's ready to be road tested in the real world. I think there are eight elements that should be considered when you're designing your organization's future work model. Here's a quick tour. The elements are arranged in a circle and it's a circle mostly because that allows me to show the whole system with balance. And I don't think there's a hierarchy between these elements. And I don't think there's a specific sequence to these elements. When thinking about the future, all of these elements are in play and their relative size and importance. That's going to depend on the nature of your business and the stage that you're at. I have a little visual shorthand for each one of the elements. The circle also gives us a way of depicting interrelationships between the elements. And why are they blue and black? Only because that's more interesting than just blue or black. And I didn't want to assign different colors and accidentally lend meaning that I don't intend to. Recall where this framework fits in. The future is far, there is, and there will always be much uncertainty. It's too much to think about at one time. We can't take a piecemeal approach and yet we can't solve for everything at once. So the antidote to all that complexity, we start up high with a simple expansive framework for dealing with all the complexity that comes from designing inside a complex system. So by necessity, this model has to be simple, robust and practical. We know there are many many issues and many perspectives across the dimensions of a hybrid work model and the eight categories they provide a way of making sense of all that complexity i followed MISI principles when i was creating these categories that problem solving practice that lots of consultants use the me part of the principle the categories should be mutually exclusive that is each of the elements are discrete and they don't overlap. And then my design intent was that these elements were also collectively exhaustive. That is these eight categories, they are a comprehensive collective. They cover all the most important elements to consider and they don't leave anything important out. So that's the end of the most exciting bits in number four. I'm going to provide some more details, brief descriptions of each category in the model. I'm trying to keep each video short and therefore had to move the words over to a separate video. After number four, I'll move from concept to practice, describing different ways to practically and productively engage your teams when you're designing your future hybrid work model. If you'd like to reach out to talk about creating a path, towards a hybrid work model in your organization, you can reach me through email, my website, or LinkedIn. 
And you might also find that my previous posts on LinkedIn provide some useful additional context. See you next time.